What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Toys, Noise, and Action Figures. I'm your host, Red Chenny, and I'm actually coming to you with an unboxing and a tour review today on an item that I saw last year, 2017, at San Diego Comic-Con. Um, it was revealed by Mattel, and if you can't tell from my hat and my shirt, it's a little hint on what it is. Uh, there's been a lot of reviews on it, and I've been impressed with uh, so many of the reviews and everything that I had to say. So impressed that I put it on my Christmas wish list to my wife this year, and uh, she was able to find it on Amazon for me and uh, score it for uh, next to nothing. So uh, I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, so that's going to make this review even uh, more exciting. So uh, stay tuned. I'm going to get ready to pop this bad boy open, and we're going to get a chance to see exactly how amazing it is. Toys, noise, and action figures. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to get it out of the, got it in the Amazon, Amazon shipping box. Um, and this is a an actual uh, unboxing, like unboxing a box of life. Haven't opened it yet. It just arrived today. So first things first, we got this box. So as you can see, it's got the uh, protective paper around it. Get out the way. boxes around so that's in the Mattel manufactured sealed box it's a little bit smaller all right so now we got that out the way Well, that's uh, protected pretty well. It's beautifully boxed. This box is awesome so far. One more box out the way. And here we are. So, that's pretty solid. That's a nice, nice box right there. to my expectations right here as far as the packaging that is it's pretty premium all these shots of the Batmobile you got like a side view product shots right here <laughs> Details on what it can do. That's excellent. It's gorgeous. Um, Got the rear shot on the back right there. said that concludes this review because this box alone is nice 
Just playing with you. We're going to get this open to it. It's not just the outside of the box. We all know it's what's in the box that counts. Um, they got a nice slip cover over it. We take this glossy cover off. All right. So you got his uh, Batman's chest emblem right here. And again on the front. It's that ooh moment, ooh, amazing. It's got that new torch smell to it too. Take that, take that, take that. All right, and this thing is huge. This is a, this is a big, vehicle right here um i think the uh age suggestion is uh 14 and up and they're probably right uh a matter of fact they're absolutely right especially for the price point msrp is uh 250 249.99 um i mean unless you will and jada smith maybe you could buy your kids an rc uh movie replica vehicle and uh and not think twice about it but uh anyway again it's a 250 dollars high quality vehicle um made from plastic uh not cheap plastic whatsoever um these wheels on it are actually uh actually rubber um I own the the tumbler that came out back in 2005 with Batman Begins, the large one, the large uh, RC one, and uh, even the, I believe the front four wheels on that one are very plasticky. Uh, the back wheels are outlined with rubber. Uh, the inside of the wheel is plastic, but the price point on that one wasn't $250. I can't remember what I spent on that one back then, but. It wasn't two hundred fifty dollars, but that one is very impressive. Uh, had some initial engine sounds. I'm I'm amazed by this. I I really love the packaging that they gave it. Um, I guess some people would wonder if it's worth two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, we can get into that later. But if you went off the initial packaging as you seen with the unboxing, um, I would definitely say that it is um, for an adult collector. Um, it is, but uh, during this past holiday season, you were able to find it for the prices were fluctuating on Amazon. Um, I seen it at 250, then I seen it at 199, then I seen it at 149, which is uh, what we ended up uh, snagging it for. And uh, she was actually able to use uh, uh, Amazon gift card that she had $450. So we ended up basically paying uh, tax. Um, so. Can't complain about that. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and point out, as obviously you've already seen, it's got this very nice, beautiful base. This is made out of cardboard. Um, the base is made out of cardboard, uh, but it's pretty hefty. It's a pretty hefty cardboard. Um, and it's got the uh, plastic, it's like a thin, light plastic uh, to look like a uh, ground or some rocks and rubble. Um, uh, right here in front of the uh, front of the uh, Batmobile. Um, again, great added feature uh, just to give you some display options. Um, now, as far as accessories, uh, it's got uh, the missiles, different things that they have actually on the back. And basically, it's stored down here. not difficult to access um, this is just right here is where your accessories are this other cardboard area right here is just it just supports the rest of the cardboard backing but we do have accessories so what's inside 
First off, we have instructions. For the Justice League Ultimate Batmobile. Ultimate Justice League Batmobile. Uh, the instruction guide. Uh, it's got some pictures. It's got your different missiles. It's got your Batman figure. Your oil. The uh, charger. Your battery right there. Charger. It's got quite a few weapons to go on it, as the Batmobile should. Batmobile is going to have a lot of weapons. The Batman figure in here is actually put in there pretty snug. Now, as far as figures go, this is a pretty basic figure. It's it's not a it doesn't have like super articulation. You can bend the legs forward. You cannot get them to do a split. It's not like the other figures. Uh, my experience with the multiverse figures, I got a few of them, a good amount of them. Uh, is there not they don't include a lot of articulation. I will say one thing about this figure though It's uh, it's pretty heavy. I do like the cloth cape on it. This is basically a figure that uh, is exclusively really meant for uh, This Batmobile. Uh, there's no uh, Ankle pivot on it, but it's not a bad figure. It's not a bad figure at all If you if you want like like the other six inch figures are available. There's plenty of Batman figures out there Batman is uh pretty much basically uh dc's iron man uh he's got a ton of armors and a ton of uh different varieties that you could pick from uh because uh when you're a billionaire uh you got it like that but uh yeah it's not a bad figure though it matches the vehicle well um if you're like me with the ocd and having to match everything then you're, you're going to be pretty happy with this so Matches the vehicle pretty well. I can see displaying this here in the man cave in the Toys, Notes, and Action Figures uh, studio. I'd be happy with it, just having it hang out like that. But that's not why you spent $250 if you bought it for MSRP, or in my case, basically got it for free, or $149, what uh, Amazon was charging for it. But uh, that's not why you got it. You got it because it's RC and uh, it's app enabled and it's got the camera inside of it and everything. So we're going to get to that. So anyway, nice figure that came with it. Uh, to be honest, I'll probably keep this bad boy uh, box in here with the rest of the accessories inside of the box. Um, head can move from side to side. Uh, not really up and down at all. But when you're just going to be... When you're just made to sit inside of the Batmobile, I, I guess you don't need that. Joints are kind of loose on the arm, uh, especially at the elbow, particularly at the elbows. Um, and I believe that's because it's supposed to hold on to the uh, steering wheel. It's got the open hands. Uh, the other uh, multiverse six inch figures, Batman, as far as uh, from the Justice League right now, I believe I've closed fists. We'll look at that. A little bit later with the other figures. But this one has open hands, so you can put it right on the steering wheel. And as the steering wheel is turning, you'll be able to he'll be able to just move his hands along with it with no problem. Like I said, it bends at the knees. Uh they're not very stiff joints. Um uh, pretty broad shoulders on this too. So it, it'll be interesting to see how it actually fits inside of the vehicle. He's going to chill out in there. Um, so first things first, what I'm going to do is we're going to get the uh, battery charged up. Here's your battery charger right there. 9.9 volt battery. So that's that's pretty cool. 9.9 volt battery. It takes about 30 minutes to charge it up. There's your battery right there. So we'll get this bad boy charged up. And uh, see how it runs. Okay, now before we actually get into the uh, powering on the uh, Batmobile and using the app and everything like that, we're going to start off with the included uh, DC Multiverse figure that actually, uh, you know, that came with this Batmobile. Uh, this one with the shady articulation. First, we'll put him in. Obviously, he should fit the best because he actually came with the vehicle. Um, you actually could 
put his hands on the steering wheel. I'm not going to do all that, though, because you know, I'm not a big fan of the figure, and he's going to go right back in the box anyway. Uh, so we got him snug in there right now. Going to close the top. Now, with mine, I'm noticing that I have to press in this side real quick. I just got to press it in slightly to make sure that it closes snug. But as you can see, Batman is in there. He fits well. Go ahead and take him out. And, uh, you guys could actually just say goodbye to him because he's going to end up going right back in the uh, box inside of the packaging and everything, too. So, uh, he fits pretty good. Next up, we're going to go with the Walmart exclusive uh, Batman and uh, see how he fits. Again, he's got the closed fist, so he's not going to be able to grab, grab, hold on to the steering wheel. But uh, put him in, get his cape down. He's got some pretty broad shoulders. Not actually, they're not as broad as the uh, figure that came at the vehicle. But there he is. Let's get that top down. The canopy. Same thing, pretty snug. He's not as an exact fit as the one that actually came with it. Close enough. It's not bad. Um, again, he's going to be a close second place. He'll probably be riding in this thing a little bit more than the figure that came with it. And finally, my favorite, the actual uh, Collecting Connect um, Batman for Justice League. Now, his shoulders are pretty broad, uh, similar to the shoulder width that he figured it actually came with it. He's a little bit more snug, but you actually could get it closed with him too. A uh, little bit right there. Good to go. Uh, this is our winner right here. He's going to be staying with this uh, vehicle. Okay, so once you have the battery actually installed, and I'm not a big fan of the, I guess the one thing I could gripe about, if I have to find something to gripe about on this, is uh, the way the battery cap goes back on. They give you a lot of cord, a lot of slack on the battery itself, but then when you try to put it into that little compartment there, it's a little awkward, it's a little difficult to actually get uh, the battery compartment uh, closed back up and screwed back in. It's not a very convenient way of getting the battery in when it could have went with just putting it underneath here speaking of underneath here uh we're gonna go back to that in just a second or two but uh first we're going to actually start the app so to give you a little bit of music to let you know it's about to go down. Okay, we're gonna go with novice. And um, I'm just following some instructions real quick on here. Let's get this turned on real quick. And we have power. Welcome to first time setup. Okay, so we are connected to the Wi-Fi on the Batmobile. Okay, so now I'm looking at the camera. It's got me linked to the camera. Let's pick up the canopy real quick. Okay. 
practically reaching into the Batmobile right now, inside of the camera. Closing the canopy. Got a pretty good response on it too. So not bad at all. Also when you turn if you want to do off-road mode. Turn on the headlights. take this thing around the house for a little bit. Um, no, I don't plan on taking it outside. Uh, only because it's a pretty nice vehicle. I still have my Tyco uh, 1.6 scale uh, tumbler um, from 2005 from Batman Begins. That one goes outside all day. Uh, the plastic is made of cheaper plastic. The wheels are pretty much plastic except for like the back wheels on the outer half of the wheels but this one is we're going to keep it clean it's going to stay inside the house uh, guns actually rotate. And you actually can see it on the screen. That's pretty cool, pretty damn cool.
Okay, so final thoughts on the Justice League Ultimate Batmobile app-enabled remote control vehicle. Um, here at Toys, Noise, and Action Figures, I have the rating system that basically goes as follows. Starting from the bottom, we have whack. And if it's whack, that means it's bad, it's inferior, it's a shelf warmer. Uh, don't rush out, don't break your neck. Um, it's going to be there for a while. Uh, next up is cool. Uh, it'll work. Uh, but you can play the long game and uh, wait for it to go on sale. Um, so that's cool. Next up is dope. And if it's dope, go out, pick one up, knock yourself out, live a little, have a good time. Uh, you, you won't be uh, you won't be sad that you did it. And then there's the ultimate. There's classic, and uh, that means you should go pre-order one, pre-order two, one for display, one for mint and seal box. Uh, you'll thank yourself five years from now, ten years from now. Uh, your kids will thank you for holding on to it for them. Knock yourself out. Go get two. And classic. And as far as this particular item is concerned, the Ultimate uh, Justice League Batmobile, I'm going to go with classic. It is a classic. Um, and there's a number of reasons for that. In order for it to be a classic in my book, it has to speak to the fans. It has to be worth its weight in gold, basically. Uh, if you're gonna you're gonna charge two forty nine ninety nine for an item like this, at the manufacturer suggested retail price, um, you better be able to deliver on from its builds and materials put behind it, how it's been manufactured, to also all of the bells and whistles that come with it. I do believe this meets all those criteria from the box, the packaging itself. It makes you feel like you actually went out and spent two forty nine. dollars Sometimes uh, in this day and age, uh, manufacturers have, a companies have a way of charging you way more for way less. That's just not right in my book. And they didn't do that on this one. They actually charged you and they delivered and it's well worth it. And not just that, it's not that bad because uh, nowadays you're able to find this on so many online retailers, um, particularly Amazon, where the price has been fluctuating. It's been going from 249 during the holiday season and going down as low as I've seen 149, which is the price point that we got it at. And uh, we also were able to use a $150 Amazon credit. Uh, and all we had to do was end up paying uh, tax on it. So uh, I'm definitely happy about that. I was definitely in the holiday spirits because of that. But that is not the only reason. Again, I believe that it's classic, even at its manufacturer's suggested retail price. The only thing that I can possibly complain about, uh, besides uh, how you uh, put the battery in, uh, to the vehicle, um, I think that could have been protected a little bit more by just going directly underneath it. But uh, probably because it raises up. I don't know. I'm I'm not a manufacturer, but I do know this: if they would have also included a dedicated remote control for us old school guys, we actually like to have a remote and also still be able to have the new technology, to have the app capability, uh, um, a la how the Phantom drones are built nowadays where they still come with a remote uh, or you can use your phone. Something like that would have been great uh, with this. Again, you don't know how how updated or how long the app is going to be around. And, you you know, even though even if that goes away, this would still make a great shelf piece, even at 249 I believe there's a lot of collectors out there that if this had came out at the same scale uh, for Hot Toys, you would have paid almost double. And I can't imagine Hot Toys making it with any more oomph or, or uh, better materials unless they completely made it out of metal for that matter because this is some pretty quality plastic right here but again i'm going to go with classic i love this thing um it's not going to get a lot of outside it's not going to get any outside uh wear and tear uh at all for me because the only outside that i need to do with rc is i have a tyco 2005 batman begins tumbler uh at, at the 1.6 scale i believe yes yeah, one six scale it's the large one that one can go outside all day. It's very durable. This is durable too, but that one I don't want to get scratched up or anything like that. I won't have that on display um, here in the Toys Notes and Action Figures Man Cave anyway. But this one will definitely be on display in here. Again, if you haven't got one yet, go out, look for it right now. I think the last time I looked online, it was going for might have been 174 or something like that on Amazon. You see different price fluctuations on eBay. I buy it now prices that are well below uh, $200. So you can't lose with this one. It's worth it. Uh, take my word for it. 
uh, you'll be grateful to yourself that you did it. Anyway, I'm Ray Chaney, your host for Toys, Noise, and Action Figures. Signing off. I uh, hope to see you again soon. We're actually going to be uh, putting together another review real soon. Uh, I think next up we're going to be trying to do that 12-inch Marvel Legends uh, Black Panther figure. Uh, I want to get that done before the movie comes out. I'm excited about that. But anyway, stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you for joining us today. And uh, we'll see you soon. Peace. God bless. We out. Thank you.